Hey everyone, this is Fritil Hakur Raja Raven. I'm back with my reaction review of Boruto Naruto Next Generation anime episode number 141 which is titled Shinobi Prison Hizuki Castle. Uh, for those of you who watched Naruto Blood Prison, the movie, you would know that Hizuki Castle is also known as Blood Prison. It also ended up being a part of the most recent Kakashi Retsuden novel. I guess it was Kakashi Retsuden, right? When the entire plot dealt with trying to save Naruto from a chakra illness, but yeah. Anyway, the episode is here. Let's watch. This arc also connects to the upcoming Mujina Bandits arc that's part of the manga, so I'm not really sure how much I'm supposed to like consider this anime arc as canon because I'm, I mean when it comes to the Boruto anime it's kind of very confusing about the stuff that's canon and the stuff that's not entirely canon so I do remember the entrance from uh, the movie he also kind of looks like the dude who was who was uh, like the warden of the prison in the movie as well Tile Crimson Prison Jutsu that's the jutsu that prevents the inmates from running away from the prison and I guess that's, yeah, that's Boruto. And it looked different on Boruto for some reason. Basically, if you try to run away from the prison, that jutsu activates and you start burning up. In the movie, it, like, the entire body would burn up and people would die. So it'd be interesting to see how far the anime goes with that. What's he going to do? Is he going to try? He's going to try and run away. I guess we're going to see him die. His body is going to burn up because of that celestial prison jutsu. Yeah, they aren't even trying to catch him. You're going to die. So his body is burning up. Yeah, he's burning. Oh, so they didn't go too far with the gore, which they did in the movie. That, like I said, the entire body would burn up. Okay, okay, Bruto, you need to keep your mouth shut. And also call the doctor. So yeah, that person is still alive. Have you heard of the Mujina? So are we going to get flashbacks? That salads and Naruto's voice? Mitsuki? Okay, so we're getting a mission briefing. That's good. Like, I need to understand the reason why these kids were sent to Hazuki Castle. They're captured, then they stuck, and anyone who tries to desert is killed. Mm. There's nothing there. Come on. A man in Kokuri. Okay, so about a year ago, he secretly stole gang money. He was living under everyone's radar, but it seems he committed another robbery and was thrown into Hazuki. Okay. In the prison only for shinobi administered by the hidden grass village so that's gokuri so that's the person they need to make contact with managed to conceal the fact that he's a former member of the majina gang but a prisoner who arrived after him sukio he's a, okay okay so kokuri is already in the prison another person who's basically the second person the second most important person in the gang is there so they're worried that Kokuri is going to die. Is Kokuri even telling the truth? Big nations like ours have suffered Majina again. Okay. So the grass village, hidden grass village, it really isn't listening to Naruto because the Majina gang haven't been attacking the grass village. That makes sense. Hmm. So Bruto and Mitsuki are going in there for what? To secure Kuroki? To keep him protected? Hmm. We're going to send you in undercover as prisoners to protect Kokuri until all the arrangements have been made. Hmm. Yeah, makes sense. But what Salad's going to do, like Salad needs to be in there, she's part of Team 7. Uh, so they know the Lord, he's a friend of Naruto's. Early, this is a tune-in class mission, but the team who was chosen can't go now. Why? Are they on some other mission? You just a skill the Chunin Shinobi, which I mean they are kind, they are more powerful than Chunin Shinobi, like these three. Unable to use your jutsu. Don't worry about that. We asked the Lord to use this. Okay, yeah, so that's why it was looking weird on Bruto when he used it. Again, where's Salad? Like I, I don't like Salad not being a part of uh, this mission. 
Yeah, am I the only one being left out of this one? <laughs> you have an important job as well, you know. What? She's going to go in as a cafeteria lady? Oh no, a journal, a research. Okay. I don't know about you all, but this reminds me of that Sasuke Retsudan novel where Sakura ended up going as a nurse. Not a nurse, my bad, as a, as a doctor. And uh, Sasuke was already in there as a prisoner. So newbies get the lower bunks. Nice to meet you. Oh, Mitsuki is so just, he's such, he has such a good heart. So they are from the land of water. Mm -hmm. Arai, he's Tamata. I'm not really sure if I'll be able to remember all the new names. Mm. I don't even trust him. What? The toothbrush. Kamata has a toothbrush. Give it back. <laughs> He's like, if you keep things lying around, you don't necessarily own them anymore. So you need to keep an eye on your things. Yeah, just be careful next time. Mitsuki. Mitsuki is looking out for his man, and you know what? I have to stand. So he's giving Salad a tour of the prison, and he, apparently you can get rid of the Celestial Prison Jutsu if you use a whole lot of water, but they don't necessarily have a lot of water. Yeah, they don't have flushing toilets or baths, which is... Oh no. <laughs> so yeah, that's the medical center. The, where are they? Give me a break. The cafeteria? Oh, Mitsuki and Buruto are there. The red ones aren't poisonous, but the white ones are and they bloom once in a while. Okay. So he's basically trying to tell Buruto that if he wants to fake an illness, he can't really fake it. He needs to actually get ill. And a person was able to do that by eating one of the poisonous plants. So I guess Bruto, Bruto need, needs to figure out how to get one. But can something so thin support my wits? So they have the wires, but the wires aren't able to support Bruto's weight. So leave it to me. He's going to use his wire. That's it. Oh, Mitsuki is using his snake. That works. That makes sense. Come on, hurry up, Mitsuki. So he got the white poisonous uh, Chinese lantern plant. Come on! This is intense! <laughs> Will they be able to get it? Yeah, the recreation time is over, the guards here. Oh, that's good thinking. That's good thinking, Buruto. He's like, my clothes are stuck in the fence. Come on! Come on, Mitsuki snake! Oh, uh oh. Come on. Okay, okay. It worked. And Buruto got sick. He really got sick. He's not faking it. Yeah, get the guard. <laughs> oh, Mitsuki. I mean, you can already tell that that's going to be uh, Kokori. Yeah, my mouth is still clean numb. You were out for a while, but don't worry, you are safe here. This is the only oasis in the prison. The medical unit looks very, very good. So they are kind of taking good care of the prisoners. I'm looking for some, what? His name is, oh. That happened. There was the envelope. How is Buruto supposed to remember? <laughs> it was blue, it was blue. So he's trying to gain uh, Kokuri's trust. The half moon, half dark and half light. So that's Sukio. It's proof I've got luck on my side. So apparently you aren't supposed to take him lightly. He's supposed to be a very strong uh, ninja or a member of the Majina gang. Using a knife, so... Okay, okay, so he has other people working for him in Uzuki Castle. Kokuri is in danger, y'all. And Kokuri is Kokuri... Oh, oh, now he enters the medical room, okay. Is Kokuri going to die? No, he's still alive, right? I don't think he's dead. That would be very anticlimactic that Kokuri... Yeah, he's still alive. That's the person he... Could be one of the new characters that were introduced. He could be someone else. Next episode, Kokuri is alive. They're still trying to keep an eye on him. Uh-huh. 
Yeah, even the medical ward isn't safe now. We have to make a move. Right, Salad's still there. She noticed something. Of course, prison fight. That's supposed to happen. Yeah. Okay, I'm looking forward to the next episode, you all. I really am. It was an enjoyable episode. I liked it. I liked how they figured a way for Salad to be part of the mission. Because I, I, yeah, I saw some rumors online where they were like, Salad is going to dress up as a boy, which I don't think would have worked. But yeah, it's fun. And due to the fact that it's, it's going to link to the Mujina Bandits arc, that's part of the actual manga. I'm really looking forward to how the writers are going to like develop all of those characters and how they're going to give uh, a backstory and more context to when the Muji Mujina uh, Bandits arc leader comes in uh, into the anime when they start adapting the manga. And yeah, I think I'll be doing a written review of this for the Geekiri. I'm not really sure uh, if, when, yeah, the link to the review will be inside the description when the review goes up because I can't leave it in the comment section because of the new YouTube FTC not FTC, my bad, the, the new YouTube and COPPA uh, regulations. And also for those of you, because you won't be able to leave any comments either, you can uh, tweet at me uh, on, uh, at my personal uh, Twitter or you can tweet at the Geekiri Twitter, your choice, if you want to talk to me about how you uh, how you found this episode and whether, whether or not you're looking forward to the upcoming episodes. and. Yeah, it was fun. It was okay. It, like I said, it was it wasn't anything new necessarily, but it was okay. It was enjoyable, and I'm looking forward to this current arc. Let me know what you guys thought down in the comment section below. Not comment section. Yeah, I need to change my spiel. Yeah, let me know. Uh, like tag me on Twitter, y'all. But yeah, until next time, stay happy, stay safe, stay blessed. I'll see you guys later.